But first, to that unique security imaging technology, it can see explosives, liquids, narcotics, weapons, plastics, and ceramics hidden under clothing from 80 feet away. And it's being unveiled today in England. CBS News correspondent Elizabeth Palmer joins us. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Uh, yes, it's called the T5000 terahertz camera, and it was originally developed for use in space to see from satellites into space through clouds of interstellar dust or back at the Earth at the ozone layer. And once the scientists had perfected that and could see through the clouds, they thought, why not clothes? And so they decided to develop a version, uh, a camera, in fact, for security applications. In this demonstration, a model tucked some mock-up explosives under his shirt. Here's what the camera sees. Not an image of a naked man at all, even though his clothing is transparent, but it's more like an infrared picture with the explosives package clearly visible. The camera works at a distance of up to 80 feet. That means security officials around the world, both civilian and military, are very interested. A lot of security happens very close up. Uh, it could even be a physical pat-down. It could be uh, going through a metal detector gate. What we've got, which we, we're very excited about, is something new, something that says, actually, before they even get to that point, and without even necessarily them knowing this, because you can do this covertly, you can image that person and see if they've got a concealed object. The image comes up in real time on a computer monitor. It's formed not like x-rays are by bombarding bodies with radiation, but by reading natural terror waves coming off the human body. So it's completely harmless. And it's packaged in uh, what is really the size of a large steamer trunk. So if, you're, uh, if you've got a couple of strong guys, it's quite portable too. Maggie? And looking at the picture behind you, I see that you can't make out uh, any anatomy of the person, which is something that I was curious about, Elizabeth. So I'm sure that eases those concerns. <laughs> Everybody was. How long do you think it'll be before we see these at airports? Are we talking about days or months or years? Uh, no, right now. In fact, an earlier version of this, a smaller indoor version, has already been uh, sold. Uh, there's one in the financial centre of London and uh, uh, in another financial centre in the Gulf. Uh, this new version is on the market now and the technology is proven. Uh, the U.S. military has already expressed uh, interest. I should think I I they'll be visible and I in your world uh, within the year. Very Maggie? interesting. CBS's Elizabeth Palmer. Thank you.